So we've used a general purpose cleaner to remove all the surface dirt from the floor. We can look at the floor and see that it's dull gray or dull, not shiny and ready to receive wax. Before we put our finish on the floor, we're going to inspect the floor. Any discoloration, dirt, or damage that exists on the floor now will be there when we put our fresh coats on top of it. This floor is ready to go. It's clean, it's free of debris, it's free of dirt. I have my floor finish. In this case, we're going to use MISCO Elements Zinc-Free Environmentally Friendly Floor Finish. Floor finish, of course, does not get diluted. And I'm pouring it into a clean bucket. Even though I'm using a liner, I still clean my bucket very well. And I'm going to need about two gallons at least because a lot of this finish is going to get absorbed up into the mop. You can think of floor finish as paint with no color in it. Just a clear, shiny, glossy paint. I'm going to use a finish mop. There are many finish mops available on the market but your mop is your application tool, just like an artist and their paintbrush. This mop happens to be synthetic, it's 100% rayon, and it'll do a great job of putting the finish down on the floor. Under no circumstances do I ever want to use dirty tools when I apply floor finish. While this is a finished mop, it should be familiar by its candy stripe pattern. It's dirty, and it smells, and we don't know where it's been. So I don't want to contaminate my finish, I'm always going to use clean tools, cleaner new mops, clean mop, mops, buckets, and ringers. I'm going to apply or put my mop into the finish and make sure it absorbs as much finish as it can hold. So my mop has absorbed a lot of finish. I'm going to wring it out. once, just to make sure, and fill it with finish again, and wring it out. With all of MISCO's finishes, thin coats are better. Since we believe in multiple coat systems, if we miss a spot, we don't worry about it because we're going to get that spot with a second coat, but we want thin coats rather than thick coats. Thin coats of finish go down easier, dry better, and look better in the long run. So, I'm going to put enough finish on the mop and wring it out gently just until it's not too drippy. A little bit more. Notice I'm just pressing the finish out of the mop. And just like every other procedure with a mop, the first thing I do is frame out the area where I'm going to work. So I simply drag the mop along, and while I'm doing this, the mop is releasing the finish onto the floor. That's what it's supposed to do. And I'm going to make an area comfortable enough for me to stand in the center and swing my mop back and forth. Lay my finish mop flat and begin my stroking pattern, letting the mop fan out. The finish is coming off of the mop and going onto the floor. I get about halfway down my corner, I'm going to flip my mop over and continue my pattern. I find this to be the most rewarding element of floor care there is. It's actually, I think it's fun to put floor finish down, and the results are always a reflection of my job. So a clean, shiny floor not only looks good, but it makes me look good too. So I've applied my first coat of finish on top of this floor that's been scrubbed and recoated. A couple notes I'd like to point out. Floor finish dries in stages. For the first five minutes that this floor finish sits on the floor, it's going to level. That means it's going to fan out and create one continuous thickness across the surface of the floor where it was applied. That's called leveling. Five minutes of leveling. Floor finish levels, paint levels, all coatings level. After five minutes, 
from five to 10 minutes film formation occurs. That means it's not wet anymore and the water that's in the floor finish is coming up and being evaporated and what's left on the floor is creating an acrylic coating or a film coating. A lot like chocolate pudding creates a film on top. Once film formation starts, there's no way we can walk on that floor without damaging the finish. So if there's an emergency and I need to walk on the floor, I can do so for the first five minutes. After five minutes, after leveling is finished, film formation takes over and we have to stay off the floor. So let's stay off the floor. Most floor finish requires 30 minutes prior to reco. In other words, you have to let this finish dry for 30 minutes before we put another coat on.